friends today's topic is equivalence relation please follow the full video if you are new here please subscribe the channel okay friends what is equivalence relation a relation r on a set a is said to be an equivalence relation on a if and only if it is a reflexive symmetric and transitive so what is reflexive symmetric and transitive we have discussed everything in detail in the previous video okay reflexive a comma a belongs to r for all a is an element which belongs to the set a symmetric a comma b the ordered pair a comma b belongs to r it implies that b comma a also belonging to r for all a comma b belong to the set a what is transitivity a comma b that is the ordered pair ab belongs to the relation r and also b comma c belongs to r such that these two in combined implies the ordered pair a comma c belongs to the relation r for all a b c belongs to the set a now we shall give an example on equivalence relation let n be a positive integer prove that the relation r on the set z of all integers defined by the ordered pair x y belongs to r if and only if x minus y is divisible by n is an equivalence relation on z we observe the properties of relation on r first one is reflexivity reflexivity okay for any a belongs to n a minus a is equal to 0 so 0 can be written as 0 into n so it implies that a minus a is divisible by n so the ordered pair a comma a belongs to r does the ordered pair a comma a belongs to r for all a belongs to the set z so r is reflexive okay r is reflexive next is symmetry okay let us consider that the ordered pair a comma b belongs to r then ordered pair a comma b belongs to r it implies that it implies that a minus b is divisible by n it implies that a minus b is equal to n into p say for some p belongs to z it implies that if you take minus common so it will be b minus a and this can be written in as n into minus p okay so we can write b minus a is also divisible by n it implies that the ordered pair b comma a belongs to the relation r so in a nutshell we can say that a b that is the ordered pair a b belongs to r it implies that the ordered pair b comma a also belongs to r for all a comma b belongs to the set z so r is symmetric on z so we can write r is symmetric on z 
Next, we shall see the transitivity. Transitivity. Let a comma b comma c belongs to the set Z such that a comma b belongs to R and also b comma c belongs to R. That is the relation. Then a comma b belongs to R. It implies that a minus b is divisible by n. It implies that a minus b is equal to np for some p belongs to z that is the set of integers and b comma c belongs to r it implies that b minus c is also divisible by n it implies that b minus c is equal to n into q say for some q belongs to the set of integers so the ordered pair a comma b belongs to r and the ordered pair b comma c belongs to r this both implies that a minus b is equal to np and b minus c is equal to nq now we shall add both of them okay after adding we get this is a minus b and this one is b minus c so we add both of them on the left side simultaneously on the right side np plus nq it implies that a minus b plus b minus c is equal to n times of p plus q so here b is cancelled we can write a minus c is equal to n into p plus q okay n into p plus q so it implies that a minus c is divisible by n it implies that the ordered pair a comma c belongs to r so friends see that what we considered earlier we considered the ordered pair a comma b belongs to r and also the ordered pair b comma c belongs to r and both of them now implies that the ordered pair a comma c belongs to r so from these we conclude that for all a b c belongs to z r is transitive r is transitive on z thank you have a nice day